Last year, the United States seized more than 1,000 batches of solar energy equipment in China for no reason. For solar panels, the United States said it would compete with China but found that the output seriously did not match the demand. What is more interesting is that Europe thinks it has the ability to form a solar supply chain. As a result, the cost is too high. Whether it is Italy in the Mediterranean or Spain in the Iberian Peninsula, the cost of materials and labor is not enough to support their local products. A US media investigation found that China's buildings and rooftops have the potential to accommodate more than 1,000 gigawatts, 1 billion kilowatts, of solar power capacity nearly the same size as the entire existing global industry. And in theory, as costs fall and technology improves, there is room on residential, commercial and public property for generating capacity of that magnitude, enough to power at least 750 million homes during peak generation. Yes, no other country's green transition approaches the scale of China's, where a world powered by the sun is quickly taking shape. Today, China has the world's largest renewable power capacity, including 323 gigawatts of solar, around a third of the entire global total. President Eleven wants to increase that to 1,200 gigawatts by 2030, more than the world's current total. Rapid deployment means the country is likely to reach the target years early. In 2022, it's set to add a further 108 gigawatts of solar power, double last year's record amount. Experts say that China's glowing solar power success shows there is light at the end of the tunnel for a global green energy transition. Renewable energies like solar are key to reducing emissions in the electricity sector, which is the single largest source of global CO2 emissions. According to the International Energy Agency, if the world is to reach net zero by 2050, almost 90% of electricity will need to come from renewable sources, with solar and wind likely accounting for most. The climate benefits of China's solar revolution are clear. As the world's largest CO2 emitter, China's efforts to decarbonize its energy system will be critical, and it has committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2060. Solar is a great way to do so. Within about four to eight months, solar panels have offset its manufacturing emissions and have an average lifespan of 25 to 30 years. China's rapid shift away from coal burning will also help reduce air pollution in its smog-clogged cities, benefiting public health as well as the environment. Last year, China's public and private investment in clean energy was $381 billion, greater than all of North America by a margin of $146 billion. China is likely to invest a further 13 trillion renminbi, $1.89 trillion, in green energy through 2025, the equivalent of 16% of its total infrastructure investment. China has turned a yellow desert into an endless blue sea, and China has built the world's largest hydro-solar power station. In today's video, let's take a look at some of the outstanding results of China's investment in recent years. OK, let's get started. This is a live photo from Supcon Dilingha 50 MW Molten Salt Tower Solar Thermal Project in China. Sapcon Dilingha 50 MW Molten Salt Tower Solar Thermal Project is one of the first batch of 20 demonstration CSP projects in China. The plant construction started in March, 2017, and was commissioned in December, 2018, and reached full load operation in April, 2019. Its installed capacity is 50 MW, equipped with a 7R Molten Salt Energy Storage System, the mirror field lighting area is 542,700 square meters, and the designed annual power generation is 146 million kilowatt hours, which can save 46,000 tons of standard coal every year, while reducing carbon dioxide gas by about 121,000 tons. It has good economic and social benefits, 
The power station adopts the tower-type molten salt CSP core technology independently developed by China and fully owns intellectual property rights, and more than 95% of the equipment has been localized. In addition, the operation performance of the power station has passed the complete technical evaluation of Fichtner, an independent German engineering consulting company, and it is determined that its technology has reached the most advanced level of similar power stations in the world. Now, let's look at another project, the world's largest water-solar complementary power station in China. On July 8, the world's largest water-solar complementary power station, the first phase of the Kila photovoltaic power station, officially started construction in Sichuan province, China. The power station is 4,000 to 4,600 meters above sea level, with a total investment of over 5.3 billion yuan an installed capacity of 1 million kilowatts, and an average annual power generation of 2 billion kilowatt hours, which can meet the electricity consumption of about 1 million urban households. And it is planned to be connected to the grid at full capacity in 2023. After the completion of the first phase of the power station, the annual electricity output can save more than 600,000 tons of standard coal and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 1.6 million tons. After the project is fully completed, it can contribute more than 220 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity every year, which is equivalent to reducing the consumption of standard coal by about 70 million tons and reducing carbon dioxide emissions by about 180 million tons. At present, the common power stations are mainly hydropower stations and thermal power stations. Then, what is a water-solar complementary power station? In fact, photovoltaic power plants rely on sunlight to generate electricity, and the power generation peaks at noon, but drops to zero at night, and the power generation will also decrease during cloudy days. Therefore, due to the randomness and volatility of photovoltaic power generation, the generated electric energy cannot be directly connected to the grid and delivered to users. But the Kila photovoltaic power station perfectly solves this problem, because there is a supercharging treasure nearby Lianheku hydropower station. This hydropower station with an installed capacity of 3 million kilowatts can use its unique adjustment ability to realize the development of water-solar complementarity. First, the photovoltaic power station transmits the electricity to the Lianheku hydropower station and becomes a virtual unit of this hydropower station. Then, the hydropower station uses its powerful adjustment ability to smooth the randomness and fluctuation of the power generated by the photovoltaic power station, and provide stable, high-quality clean power for the grid. At the same time, there are seasonal differences in the output of photovoltaic power generation, showing the characteristics of large output in winter and spring, and small output in summer and autumn which forms a natural complement with the characteristics of high water season in summer and dry season in winter of hydropower generation. In general, the total scale of clean energy bases in this basin exceeds 80 million kilowatts, of which hydropower is about 30 million kilowatts, wind power and photovoltaic power generation exceed 40 million kilowatts, and pumped storage power generation exceeds 10 million kilowatts. When all completed, it will become one of the largest green, clean and renewable energy bases in the world. Moreover, the hydrosolar complementary development model of the Kila photovoltaic power station can adjust the photovoltaic power station within the day through the hydropower station to promote the consumption of new energy. At the same time, by complementing the output characteristics of hydropower and photovoltaic power generation during the year, the utilization rate of the transmission line can be improved, and the comprehensive power generation efficiency can be improved. So, what's the value of building such a large photovoltaic power station? Well, at first, the Kila photovoltaic power station is the first 1 million kilowatt photovoltaic power station in Sichuan province and the largest hydro-solar hybrid power station in the world. Yerjiang County and surrounding Liteng County where the Kila photovoltaic power station is located, are economically underdeveloped ethnic areas. 
The project construction will promote the development of agriculture, animal husbandry, tourism, transportation, and other industries in ethnic areas through a series of measures such as photovoltaic plus characteristic industry, photovoltaic plus infrastructure improvement and photovoltaic plus employment. Last but no least, after the completion of the power station, the annual electricity output can save more than 600,000 tons of standard coal and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 1.6 million tons, adding another weight to the realization of the dual carbon goal. Well, thanks for listening everyone. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.